A virtual CPU, or vCPU, is a software-based version of a physical CPU. It is created and managed by virtualization software, known as a hypervisor, and assigned to a virtual machine, VM. While a physical CPU is a real chip inside a computer, a vCPU is not a physical object. It is a share of the processing power from the real CPU, given to VM so they can run as if they each had their own processor. The hypervisor divides the physical CPU's resources into smaller pieces, called vCPUs, and assigns them to different VMs. Each vCPU allows a VM to run one processing thread at a time, just like a real CPU would. The hypervisor schedules these vCPUs to run on the physical CPU cores as needed, using a time-sharing system. This means multiple VMs can share the same physical hardware, each getting a slice of processing time. For example, if you give a VM four vCPUs, the VM's operating system thinks it has four CPUs and can run four tasks at once, but in reality, those tasks are being scheduled on the real CPU cores as available. To help explain this with an analogy, imagine a factory with several production lines, each representing a physical CPU core. Each production line can have multiple teams working in shifts, representing threads. Now, you have many small companies, VMs, that want to use the factory, but none of them need the whole line all the time. The factory manager, or hypervisor, divides the time on each production line into slots and assigns these slots to different companies. Each company gets a certain number of teams, or vCPUs, but these teams don't have their private production line, they share the real lines with others, taking turns. When a company's team has work to do, the manager finds a free slot on any available line and lets them work. This way, the factory is used efficiently, and many companies can operate at the same time, even if there are fewer production lines than teams. Here's a real-world example. Suppose you have a server with four physical CPU cores, each supporting two threads, using a technology called hyperthreading. That gives you eight logical cores. With virtualization, you can create 16 or more vCPUs and assign them to different VMs, depending on the workload and how much overlap you can tolerate. Not all vCPUs will be busy at the same time, so this sharing works well for many applications. To summarize the key points for beginners, a vCPU is a virtual slice of a real CPU, given to a virtual machine. The hypervisor manages how vCPUs from many VMs share the real CPU cores. vCPUs make it possible to run many virtual computers on a single physical server, saving hardware and increasing flexibility. However, more vCPUs do not always mean better performance there's a balance, and too many vCPUs can cause slowdowns if the physical CPU is overloaded. In short, a virtual CPU lets many virtual computers share a single real processor, like multiple teams sharing the same set of production lines by working in shifts. This makes computing more efficient and flexible, especially in cloud and virtualized environments.